Okay, as I promised in uh, another video when I had the big crab, as I'm going to show you how to uh, actually steam crab. There's some water in there. I'm going to put some Old Bay. Um, for you guys on the West Coast, when I was over there at, uh, at a uh, Uh, was it a uh, uh, subways and asked for Old Bay with my stuff and they have no idea what Old Bay was so that is Old Bay okay great seasoning for uh, poultry salads meats and I'll tell you what it is great for crabs so rather than put it straight on the crab I'm going to put it in the water and uh, that when it steams it will uh, get all over the shell of the crab and when you're plucking the crab it's going to be on your fingers and then eventually on the white meat. So that's uh, I have this set to high uh, on there. This uh, this is the bottom part. Now a, a steam pot on the bottom is going to have. Uh, let's see if I can turn this. Okay, and uh, it's going to have holes underneath it, and uh, crabs are going to sit in there. Okay, and. Um, this will sit on top. So I'm going to, and now uh, once steam starts coming out of there, up on on top of that, and uh, then uh, then we put the crabs in, and uh, and we'll put this lid on top, and it'll sit on top like this. Now what's going to happen when that uh, happens is uh, the crabs will start kicking. You're going to hear the sound, and uh, once the steam is going and the crabs are kicking, uh, then we set a timer over on the stove. So I'm going to pause here and uh, go get the crabs. Okay, you can hear it. You can hear it uh, um, steaming in there, and we have a little bit of steam coming out of the top. And now I'm going to pour the crabs, and, and there we go. Get my fingers out of the way. Okay, uh, there might be parts left inside. No problem. Believe me, in a little while they won't even know it. So that's the crabs. Let's see if I can. I'm not looking at the back in there and they're just, you can see how much they're moving around. They do not like being in a dark space, especially when it's going to be hot. So I'm going to put the cover on now. And it's, now they're going to be kicking in there, making noise, uh, doing things. And, uh, and after the, kid, the sound of the kicking stops, that's when you want to set your timer on your stove to about 10 minutes. And 10 minutes after the last sound of the kicking of the crabs inside there, uh, you should have nice bright Oranges color crabs, which means they are cooked. Okay, and I'll turn it back on when that time comes. Hey, in the meantime, I'm going to be putting some fish and fish heads aside. Remember on the fish heads, uh, I'm going to focus this real quick. Um, there we go. All right, so uh, the, the fish uh, the fish heads uh, I use for uh, crabbing. And of course, the fish itself is going to be another meal. Now you can hear these guys kicking around. You hear them? That's them all panicking inside, trying to get out. So after that noise, you're going to set the clock uh, at the time with 10 minutes on the, on the stove. Hey, while that's while that's steaming, I'm going to share with you how I prepare my fish. Okay, uh, I take the shiny side of the foil in. The dull is on the outside. Hey, my parents, my, my parents told me how to do this. It's something to do with the heat in here. I put some butter on it. I put some lemon right on the skin. It is descaled and degutted. Okay, and I want to take some uh, oregano leaves. I want to spray it over it. Okay, not that it's going to get on the meat, but after it's all done, oh, uh, it's going to feel, it's going to be so nice. One layer. You don't wrap it in multiple layers. You, you make it nice and uh, neat. You cover up the ends real good so the stuff inside doesn't seep out. It's going to steam inside, I hope. And we're going to put this on the grill. Let me see if the camera is seeing the grill. We'll back up the camera on the counter and point it down. I put it on the grill. Let's do a focus check. Bear with the focus. Okay, I put it on the grill and uh, I'm going to have it, yeah, let's do it this way. And I'm going to have the front grill 
It's going to be loud because the vent's going to start working. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this to medium. Kind of like that. And hopefully by the time these are cool, because you can't work on them just yet, these are cool, that's going to be finished. And then I'm going to have a feast with fish and crab. Now, I want to show you how to um, open up a crab and what to eat on the inside in case you've never experienced this before. Because I'm telling you, if you come to Maryland, come to the East Coast up north, uh, it's a crab country. It's a blue, blue crab country and you have to experience this and don't be like me when I first got here and didn't know what to do and I ended up eating the lungs of a crab which isn't so isn't too tasty at all but it's kind of tough but it didn't hurt me at all so it's a lesson learned so I want to share that with you. Okay I'm hoping you can hear me pretty good um, over the fan. Um, I'm actually looking for Okay, uh, you don't want to grab the crabs by, by hand, these are done. And a heavy odor of uh, the whole bay with the steam it smells really good. Um, the crabs are in there, you can't see them right now, but you're going to see them soon. They are hot, and some parts may come off of them, so don't be worried about it. Nice and orange. It's a done, it's a done crab. They're all, uh, they're all male, I'll show you here pretty soon. I'm just putting them on the counter to cool off. Considerably smaller than my 8 inch crab that I got yesterday. Um, I'm to grab this to so These are all male, and that's how you tell they're male. And that's just white trash that we're going to clean up pretty soon. These are on the small side. Um, the minimum size right now after, uh, after uh, July 15th is uh, 5 and a quarter inch from, um, from tip to tip. And that's from that tip there to this tip over here. So we're just going to put these to cool uh, on the counter. And I think I have, uh, I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven There's seven total. Uh, a couple of claws came off. But remember that from the 8-inch, so if you saw the video on the 8-inch, this is where the darkening is. And that's made for, that's for uh, crab balls or uh, fondue if you want. And uh, there's a whole bunch of little things in here. Uh, they need to go in the trash. Don't put them down your garbage disposal or anything because uh, it's not good for it. So we're going to take all this, put it in the trash can, and we're going to wash this out. Uh, nothing to water. Don't put the water in plants because it's got obey in it. Okay, I understand that the, the birch plant is pretty good. All right, so uh, while, while the uh, fish is cooking, I'm going to turn it over. All right, these are cooling down. And if everything works out good, I'm going to have a feast, and I'm going to show you how to open up these and, uh, and what to eat on the inside. All right, and uh, probably reposition the camera so you can see it better. So, in the meantime, I'm going to clean this pot over here. Okay, the fish, uh, fish is taking a little too long to cook. I just turned off the stove long enough for us to cover one of these. Uh, I think it's cool enough. Uh, it's still warm. I think it's cool enough. We're going to work on this guy. That signif signifies as a, a male, okay, with the long thing, and that's the only kind of crabs that you can keep. Uh, you may see females in the restaurants, but us on the pier can only do that. We're going to break off the legs and pull them out, okay, and we're going to put that in the, they have a bag, okay, and we're going to pull the big one out. If any meat that comes out of that, white meat, go ahead and take it off, put it into the pail. The reason why I don't put a strand on a plate, now I'll show you here in a bit, it came off really easy. We're going to pull off these other ones too and put them in the trash. All right, you, uh, it, my favorite place to have crabs is Stoney's uh, down on Solomon's Island. I have a video about Solomon's Island if you ever want to uh, go take a look at that. I'm going to grab a, uh, a knife in case I need a dull knife. What's going to be done in the restaurant is you're, you're going to probably put uh, pay, uh, uh, like a cardboard paper type of uh, wrapping paper, uh, the, the, the brown stuff, all over the table, give you a hammer and a pick because some people just break these open with a hammer. I don't do that. Okay, I take this and I, I, I reach inside, I push, I push down, see it, it pops. Okay, and then you pull these things out. Okay, this right here is the lungs. Do not eat the lungs. I did the first time I had crabs 
didn't know and there's uh, really no taste to it but uh, don't, don't eat the lungs so I discard the lungs right away uh, so there's no mistake all the hard, hardware is I call it all, the, all the shells in there that's part of the lung it's a it's a grayish color it's not like the meat that's white all right this here is called mustard okay uh, that's I guess their intestines and stuff you want to take all that out and uh, and throw it and throw it away all right there's nothing in there you can eat all right so you're going to take this whole top shell and throw it into the trash uh, this is the belly that's the bottom part okay in here's where all the meat this is lump meat right here it's a whiter meat and that's called the lump meat so if you go to the store you can find lump meat in a in a cans and, and you have to be careful about those because the people that uh, that process that it's all done by hand there's no machine and they let the shells get by I do my very best because I'm doing this for myself that no shells get into the meat now the reason why I'm not putting it right on the plate is because I want to rinse this I do not like the, what's called the mustard okay uh, there's people that will eat it um, I don't care for it and so I just rinse my meat and make sure uh, there's none in there. All right, this is where one of the legs came out, and there's always meat in there. Uh, we're going to take that now and throw it in the trash. There's no more meat. So it's keeping your uh, your countertop clean, uh, we'll just keep more stuff out of your meat. And I'm going to grab all this. See, I'm going to break it open. I'm just taking all that meat. And it's going to go into there. This is all the stuff you're going to have uh, on your plate and eat. And and uh, you want to get as much out of there. The bigger crabs. This, uh, this right here, you're seeing how much I'm getting from this guy. This is only one side. This came from the 8-inch crab yesterday. All right, I heated that up so I can have, have it along with this. So that's done. Okay, there is a smell to this, and uh, the Old Bay actually helps in eliminating the smell. Uh, but I'm telling you, when you're in a restaurant uh, hammering away and you're having a good old time, and especially if you're at an all-you-can-eat function, uh, on one of the on one of the uh, cruise lines that go in the bay, and sometimes they do that. They'll have all the smallest crabs, and these are some of the smallest crabs. But the idea is you have all you can eat, so you don't have to go after all this penny little uh, the meat that's everywhere in here, and you can just grab the big stuff and go, and just move on to the next crab. All right, that's all done. Now we have the other half. We're going to open this guy up and grab whatever meat's inside. Make sure there's no shell in that that goes in there and we're going to break this guy open and we're going to grab any kind of meat we can find in there it's a it is a painstaking thing it's a lot of cracking to get into it uh, let me tell you lobsters are a lot easier to get into all right but um, lobsters are a whole lot easier one big lump of meat right in the body and in the tail <laughs> These things have channels inside, and you have to get inside each one of the channels where the, where the legs were, and all where, where all the meat is. And you have to watch out for all these shells. Um, so I'm just going to do one here, and then uh, that'll give you some idea. So when you come to Maryland and you're at a restaurant, you have an idea of what you're uh, what you're going after. And I want to get this last piece, this last one in here. And I uh, do have to clean my hands before shutting off that camera. But I'm going to edit this to where you don't uh, have the long wait. Okay, that's about the last of it. Now these, once again, the dark meat is in the claws. We're going to set those aside. Um, we're not worried about the counter too much now. That is from one five and a quarter crab. That is from an eight inch crab. Okay, so the bigger the crab is, the more meat you're going to get out of there. All right, that right there is a meal for me. I'm going to eat all this tonight. I see that or I have to put it away. All right, so uh, uh, the fish, I'm going to turn back on. I'm not going to show you that. And I don't think you need to see anything else. But, you know, hey, this is how you, this is how you eat a, a crab. If you're in a restaurant, you're going to go a lot faster. You're going to have fun. You're going to be with friends. And you're going to have a hammer. And you're going to have a little uh, uh, pick, picker to pick out all the, all the meat. So don't eat the lungs unless you really want to. Okay, it's up to you if you want to have what's called the mustard. All right, there is a, a seasoning to it, it but uh, you know it's part of the. 
I'm sorry, it's part of the crab that I, if you ever knew what it was, you don't want to eat it. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, share it with a friend, and definitely watch it before you head out east to Maryland, uh, where it is abundant with blue crab, and you have to try this when you come to Maryland. Stoney's is my favorite place. I give them a thumbs up, and um, have a nice day. Alright, the fish is finally done and I've actually cleaned all the crab. This is including the little bit of the, from the eight. Look how much crab meat's that. That is enough to make enough crab cakes about, I think you make about six crab cakes out of that much crab. Alright, so that's a, a straight crab. Now, notice that I left the skin on. Alright, uh, some people take fillet these and I, um, I don't, but uh, watch this if this works right. Look at how fast that comes off. I take a fork and lightly go over and all the skin comes right off. And the flavor from the lemon and all the herbs, you know, the, the oregano and the butter is all inside that meat. Got to be careful back here toward the tail because uh, if you never had fish before, uh, there's a lot of small bones. Okay, but uh, the back back here has a lot so I get all the skin off of that and uh, when I turn this over inside the foil I do the same thing the other side so, so now um, with, with uh, the fork cleaned I'm going to take and pull this off now these are the little bones that you got to be careful of and what I do is I go through the meat and I take out the bones because I do not like bones uh, and um, Ever since uh, the group Mama and Papa, and Mama ate, uh, ate the chicken and got a bone stuck in her, her throat, it's uh, a little scary. So don't want to experience that. So that's, uh, that's part of the meal. It looks like all the bones are coming off with this, nothing staying on the rib cage. Uh, I'm going to put that over there and the meat over here. So I'll be checking for a lot of bones inside all this meat. But uh, a lot of cholesterol on that, a lot of good... Food, a lot of good food here. You don't want to eat a lot of crab because of the cholesterol level. But uh, it is nice to have every once in a while. Fish out of the bay is so good. Out of the Patuxent uh, River. It's so good that um, uh, I highly encourage it. So I'm going to make this the end of the video because I'm getting ready to eat. The fish is extremely hot. It just came off. You can see the steam coming from it. And all that is on the back. That's a lot of a lot of good meat on the back, and I think I just carried over a bone. Don't want the bones. All right, so bon appetit.